We have a great mm -hmm. relationship. You don't matter in this equation. Right. At all. That's how you feel. Exactly. And that's how she feels. Oh, really? You're an embarrassment. Oh, no. To our family circle. You have no. nothing to do with okay. this. Right. Okay. <laughs> Wait, so you met Jackie. Yes. How yeah. was that? It was good. You know, we have a lot in common. And she invited me to an event tomorrow. Yes. Are you going? I am going. OK. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess it's Evelyn's event. That's what um, I was told, yeah. We're, we're not really involved in each other's lives, so. To be honest, I have some concerns about Evelyn. You know, I don't know her personally, but there's some things there between her and some of my family members. Ooh. Oh. Girl, what's the tea? I'm like <laughs> intrigued now. What is going on? Her um, ex and my, one of my best friends. Well, girl, which one? Oh, right, exactly. Any, me, any, mighty mouth. The baseball. Oh, okay. The uh, um, Carl that mm -hmm. she has her yeah. son with. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, my family member had been holding him down for 12 years. Mm. I honestly don't understand why Vanessa feels the need to feed me all this information that has nothing to do with me. You know, women that doesn't respect men that are in relationships or don't respect family or marriages, then we'll have a problem. Mm -hmm. I'm all about, like, my, my family. Okay. Everyone that knows me and my family, they call me the bill collector. Oh. Well, I don't want to owe you no money, girl. <laughs> so I am loyal to a fault. I will ride to the end for what I feel is right and, and for my friends and my family. The other nickname is Griselda. Mm. <laughs> my family calls me that. Griselda is the Black Widow. She does not play around. She has killed uh, two of her husbands, and it's just kind of like a, a funny, but it's a very real thing. Evelyn, if you got a problem with people that I love, then we got a problem. Wait, who you got behind you? Is the mom funny? Wait a minute. Girl, I'm safe. You're safe. We're good. OK. Yeah, we're good. I got to actually sit down with Evelyn. I really adore her, so I wanted you to meet her tonight. I don't really want to go into the details with Jackie because her and Evelyn are friends, obviously, but I do have this issue that I have with Evelyn that I'm going to have to discuss. This is so beautiful. I'm so happy that you're yeah, happy. Yeah, it's good. Like, oh. I feel so welcome. I hate to uh, change the vibe because we're having such a great time. But I went to a spa and had a spa day with Jen. And, um, you know, she knows that you and I are really close. So she confided in me and she went and had um, lunch or breakfast or something with Vanessa. And I thought you were about to say Jen said something. I'm like, uh, <laughs> what? What is I missing? Right, right. Okay. Oh, so apparently, Vanessa has some type of problem with you because you have attacked her family in some sort of a way. I'm not really sure what the attack was. I don't even know her or her family. What is that? And I don't know. Um, she said that she is the bill collector. Oh, and, is she? Uh huh. And she's here to collect. Oh. Is she? Uh -huh. I'm lost. I'm like, what world does this weirdo live in? First of all, I don't even know you. So you don't, you know of her. You just never met her. I know that she's friends with Carl's first baby mom. Mind you, her and I have a great relationship. Right. So this is a one-sided beat. You know? Whatever transpired between your friend and our kid's father, right. I can't control that. Right. Yeah, Honestly, so what is her problem? Her problem is she bored. Nobody comes to my party and badmouths me. I need to go over to Vanessa to see what this is all about.
Vanessa, right? Yes, Hi, I'm nice Vanessa. Nice to meet you. Vanessa. What's up? Um, and you know Evelyn, right? Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm Vanessa. Good, nice to meet you. So, um, I don't know. I, I got some information. Let's sit here. Let's sit. Let's yeah, sit let's, here. let's sit and talk. I'm like, what is happening? Uh, what is the situation okay. here? Um, I had a conversation with Jen, and um, she disclosed some things that you had said to her. So, we just wanted to kind of get some clarity. This beef with Vanessa and Evelyn has nothing to do with me. It indirectly has something to do with me because she told me, but it's not my beef. I'm out of it. When Jackie told me that you might be around me, uh huh. I just said, you know, we have to come to some sort of understanding as far as what happened. I don't really appreciate, you know, home records. Home records. So let me just say this. You need to update your software because we are 10 years past whatever happened. What I don't appreciate is you calling me a homewrecker because at the end of the day, I can't control how Carl handled her at the time and also me. When this man and I started dating, they weren't together, according to him. According to him, I understand. Okay, so, but that leave doesn't it there. mean that she didn't know. We can't leave it there, Evelyn, because they can't. No, they have you can. No, but children you can sit involved. up here and call me a, a, a homewrecker. Okay. Is, Okay. What I'm not going to do is allow for you to change what my reality was during that time. Did you not know that he was having a baby? No, I knew that he was having a baby. So he was honest with me. He was like, listen, I'm having a baby with my ex. But how are they at end? Evelyn, that doesn't even make any sense. It's she was holding ex. it down for 12 years. I don't know that. That home was wrecked, and that home was wrecked according to him. Girl, how is the home wrecked? Think about it, Evelyn. Use your I'm brain. I'm thinking, no, use your brain. They have a whole ten-year-old, and then she's having okay. another baby. And at the end of the day, this don't got nothing to do with you. I don't need to address nothing with you. You're a nobody in my life. Had I known that Vanessa felt this way about Evelyn, I absolutely would have left her off the invite list. Honey, if you're going to be around me, girl, then we have I'm to address I'm not going to be around you. Oh. I don't need to address with you. What I'm not going to allow for you to do is come into this situation trying to paint a picture of me that is not true. Vanessa, you have been introduced to Evelyn and that bitch don't play no games. You're actually embarrassing. Yeah, right, Evelyn. No, you you're should not be gonna embarrassed. do a one-sided narrative it's not of what one -sided. happened 10 I'm years ago. I'm giving you my side. Exactly, 10 okay. years ago, our children are 10. Right. We moved on, I'm engaged in a whole other relationship. Right, because every time something gets sticky, you hop on to the next situation, Evelyn. That's what I'm saying. Yes, it was 10 years ago, but this was all something that I needed to address before having a relationship. I, I don't, I'm not gonna fake kick it around her. You're nasty and you're disgusting at the fact that you would bring this and you're sitting here talking about this. <laughs> I know that everyone is feeling like the energy is all positive and everything, but as soon as I saw Vanessa, I got pissed off all over again. Vanessa, thank you for coming. Thank you for inviting me. I have heard lots about you. Oh, good things? <laughs> that face. I mean, I don't want to lie. It hasn't been great. Oh. I'm hoping that Evelyn and I can squash things, but Evelyn's calling around, talking and I already have my guard up. I feel like the point of all of this is to try to resolve and move on, and hopefully that can be accomplished tonight. Mm -hmm. So when I had met with Jennifer and we had lunch and I told her about the issue, I didn't mean to bring that to you at your event. So you thought bringing it up somewhere else was gonna make it any better? You have an issue with me for no reason. So me being a loyal friend to my friend, that was woman to woman something that I wanted to discuss with you. First of all, I talked to your friend several times. She was mortified of how you tried to paint me and your conversation with Jennifer is a lie. I don't care about me. I've been called everything under the book. But the people that I'm worried about are the kids. You know, my son is with her as we speak. He's sleeping at her house. And what you did was wrong. We have a great relationship. You don't matter in this equation. 
right. at all. That's how you feel. Though. Exactly, and that's how she feels. Oh, really? You're an embarrassment. Oh, no. To our f***ing family circle. You have no. nothing to do with okay. this. Right. Okay. <laughs> this is not where this was supposed to go. That's right. This is a bonding moment. So any negative things, let's just forget about it. Water under the bridge. We start from here. Evelyn? <laughs> Evelyn you know? and Vanessa agree to that? You know why? You know why I won't? Because it's bigger than me. And she crossed the line. Why can't I say as a loyal friend, hey, I witnessed the pain that happened. You want to act like it didn't happen, Evelyn. Yeah, you're friends with the mother of his kids, but we could have been cool. I don't have a, a problem with nobody here, but it's women like you that come over here wanting to my piece, and it's exhausting. And I'm here arguing with you about what? Exactly, what Carl are they arguing here, But about? what you did was that you caused drama. So then Carl what are we here and for? Amy, they're arguing all for what, you? Girl, you're embarrassing. I'm actually not surprised that Evelyn is getting more and more mad. I'm just like, is it gonna, it's about to click. No, wait, no? no? I don't know, what's wrong with this girl? Amy is embarrassed. No, she's not. No, she's not. Stop is... calling her, please. She doesn't. Oh, stop I'm calling her. Why? I'm gonna call, call her every time I want to. She's with my son. Right. Stop calling her. You, you need to be mad at your esthetician, you ugly ass. Talk about don't call her. She's with my son. Vanessa is definitely bold to be coming at Evelyn this way. I don't know what's gonna happen. Worry about your dude. Bye, Evelyn. You shouldn't be judging nobody. Now yeah, go back behind security. Okay, business. yeah, okay. Bye, Evelyn. Bye, Evelyn. You idiot. You are missing the whole point of this. No, you guys are missing the whole point. What point am I missing? Like, you guys are like, oh, it's 10 years ago. I'm still gonna defend the people that did I... Act, did Amy ask you to do that? No. Then, then why the f are you doing it? Talk about why you call her bitch. You know why I call her? <laughs> Stupid ass. Your marbles are loose, and you need to tighten them up and worry about your... Whack job. She's like, when I tell you she cuckoo for mother cuckoo puffs, I ain't never, bitch, she crazy. You can't cancel somebody else's talk when your I am so surprised as a grown woman, a mother and a wife, that you don't know how to sometimes take a step back and say, you know what, let me be accountable for what I'm doing and what I'm saying, and maybe this is not my business. Let me go home and check on them cameras what my husband been doing all day. Fix your before you get into somebody else. Stop deflecting your misery on someone else. Vanessa reached out to me because she wanted to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me. After what Vanessa did, I typically would just say you, but because I'm in a different place, I really want to hear what she has to say. Hey. Evelyn, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, I'm here. Happy we're in a peaceful space. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah, of course. After getting the green light from Amy, I'm hoping that Evelyn and I can move forward from what happened at the ambush because I don't want to be in the middle of the drama. Let me just say, obviously I know that you're friends with Amy. I just wish that you would have just had a conversation with me first. I do too. But I think the game of telephone happened and then it escalated. Like, I was very triggered, Evelyn. You know, that's my homegirl, and I really was around when she was really hurt. When it was brought to me, what you had said, I was just a little taken back, like, okay, that's not my story. You know, that is not my truth. When I started my relationship with Carl, according to Carl, that relationship was over. I apologize for using the term homewrecker. It's very triggering for me because three years ago, I got pregnant. I wanted another baby for so long, and I was so happy. And my husband started, like, doing little things. 
that were not a part of his routine. So I started investigating, and I heard a conversation that he was having with another woman. Mm. And she was, like, questioning why your wife is pregnant. And yeah. she was trying to blackmail him and saying she was going to go to TMZ and, and out him for having an affair with him and things like that. And, you know, I, I heard that, and the whole situation like caused me to miscarry the baby. Oh my God, I'm so sorry, Vanessa. I miscarried three in a year, so I understand yeah, what that feels like. Yeah, and so like. that was like so, I, the pain that I felt was, because I was pregnant and so happy to be pregnant, this woman came in and tried to destroy my home. That's where the home wrecker thing was coming from. I get it. I know what that feeling is like. I know what it's like to be betrayed. I can relate to Vanessa. The thing about miscarriages is once you get pregnant, you automatically feel connected to this child. And I feel sad for her that she's, you know, lost the baby because she was stressed because of an affair. Carl and I, we were supposed to get married that summer. And then I found some things out and then the relationship was over. I was like, okay, I, I'm, I'm not gonna do this. And he moved on, boom, as, as nothing. It made me reflect on, dang, I wonder if the same thing happens with Amy. And then Amy and I had a great open conversation, which I think ultimately ended up bringing us closer. And I figured we can make sure that the kids always hang out and see each other. Yeah. I want to just say that I apologize for saying the things that I said to you. I'm sorry for everything that you've gone through in, in your relationship. And I don't know why men do certain things that they do, but it happens. Thank God I got pregnant again. I have a beautiful son, seven, but I've held on to that resentment of what he did and what they did to me. And so sharing this with Evelyn, she can feel where I'm coming from. I think things would have went a lot different if this is the conversation that we started off on. Well, I'm sure Amy would be very happy to know that this conversation took yes. place. Despite that, how's everything else with the girls? Well, we had a little girls thing with me and Brittany, Giselle, and Kleana. Yeah. So we all kind of bonded the other day. Hopefully y'all have fun at the party. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, give, give, me, give me a hug. <laughs> all right.